Bobby Weeds here, um, out here doing a, a late in the season. It's uh, September, early September, doing a crabgrass control. Um, at this point, we're at the four, five, and six tiller stage. These are mature crab crabgrass plants. Looks like smooth crabgrass. Um, what I'm doing is uh, I'm using Drive Accelerate, which is the liquid quinclor quinclorac. Um, they do say that that uh, has better performance over the powdered uh, drive or the powdered quinclorac. Um, I have seen it get better results. Uh, I do mix it with a methylated seed oil for a surfactant and usually I will get between 70 and 80 percent control. Um, the other 20 to 30 percent will turn red and then kind of uh, flush back out. But because this is late in the season and nighttime temps are going to start dropping since this is an annual weed and a lot of times homeowners don't realize that, that this is going to die off in the winter anyway it is important to control it to control the the seeds that uh the adult plants are producing but um this is going to die off so sometimes if you're right on the brink of uh it dying off naturally um and then uh you know when you kill a whole bunch of crabgrass uh, does turn into one big clump of dead grass. So these are all things you need to think about when you're killing crabgrass. So I'm out here. Uh, I'm going to clean it up. We are going to do a lot of slice seeding out in this property. So it does make sense to, to clean up as much and create some space to get the slice eater in and get some great soil contact with uh, the seeding we're going to do. So yeah, drive, accelerate uh, with a methylated seed oil. It is tank mixed with a, a three-way just to clean up some dandelions uh, drive isn't affected uh, when tank mixing with 2,4-D and other phenoxy herbicides uh, to kill, clean up some broadleaf but um, there's just a couple of dandelions um, some spurge hanging around so um, yeah that's uh, my crabgrass management for today